to Mommy Talk Live. Our next guest is Rail Cohen, head of design at Third Love, the well-known bra and underwear e-commerce company that carries the most gorgeous and practical bras we have ever seen. Welcome. Thank you so much for that intro. <laughs> yeah, you are very welcome. So you have the whole display behind you so that we can all see what we're actually talking about today. So Rail, you are the head of design at Third Love. Can you tell me what you do and, and why you do it? Yes, um, I was the first hire at Third Love, so I've been here from the beginning. I come from a traditional lingerie background, um, working for some larger retail companies. And I met Dave and Heidi um, through LinkedIn, actually, the founders of the company. And they had this amazing idea for a new type of bra company where you could shop from home and not have to go into and have that painful in-store fitting experience where you get measured and the woman's kind of feeling you up and it's cold and you still walk out and you don't have a bra that you really love. Um, and I thought, wow, this is an amazing, innovative idea and I want to be a part of it. So I head up the design team and the broader creative teams here. So how are your bras different? You are designing bras. How amazing is that to be a woman who actually gets to design intimates? Because, okay, so I told you this morning, I was like, I, I get frustrated because like so many other women, I was telling you that with all my daughters in the house, people will be walking around. I have one daughter that's like, I'm angry because I'm not comfortable. And so what is it about your bras and underwear that are different? I mean, we can buy bras and underwear anywhere. Sure. So why yours? Yeah, I mean, we um, we really take the time and and actually honestly spend the money to put in the best possible details into our bras. So I think as women, we often have to choose between sexy or comfortable. And when we started Third Love, uh, we didn't want to choose, right? We should be able to be pretty, sexy, comfortable, whatever we decide that we want to be that day. And so we really just put premium details into our bras and, and really focus on the fit. So a couple things make us unique. Um, I can actually show one of our best-selling bras. Yeah. This is our 24-7 t-shirt bra, and it's made with a memory foam cup. And what is kind of magical about memory foam is that it's very thin and lightweight, but it still provides support and coverage. And it really kind of, I would say, forms to your body like a second skin. And so this kind of, this older way of thinking about bras of these stiff, big, globe-shaped cups that that's really kind of obvious that you're wearing a bra or push-up bra, this is just a very natural, comfortable look, but it's still gorgeous. And so there's other small details like um, a foam padded hook and eye. And so you guys, I'm sure yourself, your daughters, all the women out there can relate to the itchy back syndrome that you get towards the middle or the end of the day. Yeah. Really. And so, this, yeah, this great clasp um, has completely tagless printing and it's lined with foam. So there's tons of just small details like that that make a huge difference to women um, at a comfort level, but also an aesthetic level. Right. Wow. So do you have all the different kinds of bras that would be from like thin to padded to, and how do you get them to fit or they don't hurt or, or they're not too tight? I mean, how do people order from home when, when they don't really know how to measure? Something? Absolutely. So we have, um, we have this amazing tool called the Fit Finder. So we knew if we were going to have an e-commerce bra company and women weren't going to go into the store to get measured, we had to figure out a way um, that was easy to the consumer to figure out their best size, but also their best style. Because fit is more than just size, right? It's the style. Right. What cup do you need? Is it full coverage? Is it t-shirt? Is it plunge? So our Fit Finder quiz, you just answer a few simple questions about your current bras, the fit issues that are bothering you, like slipping straps or my band is digging in or kind of all those pain points that women have. And then we recommend your best size and style in third love. We have 60 sizes and we even have our own unique signature half cup sizes. So that was a, that's a real game changer for women who oftentimes have a little bit of gaping or a little bit of overflow in their cup. Right. Wow. And you helped develop all this. Can, can we focus on you personally for just a second? So how did you, how did you become a part of this and 
how did you know how to do this? Is this, you know, did you get an education in developing bras and, and clothing? I mean, <laughs> how'd you get there? I, um, I actually went to fashion school. I moved out to San Francisco in um, 2000. So seems like a zillion years ago now. Um, but I moved out here. I went to fashion school, got my degree, and I ended up getting a job at a big company here. And um, they the, the opening was for a lingerie designer. So I, I kind of fell into it. I mean, I had always really loved um, lace and beautiful fabrics. And, and obviously, as a woman, wore a lot of bras and underwear. But um, I kind of fell into it by happenstance, and then it became a passion for me. I mean, the first time I ever went to Paris was for that job, and I walked on the winding streets and popped into all the little boutiques and bought these like beautiful French lingerie that's basically pieces of art, right? And I thought, wow, this is gorgeous, but if you're not 100 pounds and, and a, a little teeny tiny A cup, which, you know, not all of us are and myself included um you know you can't really wear this stuff and so i think what what i love about third love is kind of like it's a hat trick right it's like how do you take that beautiful kind of european aesthetic and make it really just wearable and comfortable for the american market because we're grounded in reality here you know the reality of your body changes six times in your life the reality of having kids nursing all of those things Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, now, we've got some, and also, and also about nursing bras. I'm going to get some of the questions. Great. Um, and I've got to ask you too. Do you mind just turning my volume down just a tad? I, I'm just hearing a little echo. Uh, Willow says that she desperately needs comfort. Um, so we've got. Oh, do you have triple D sizes? Yes, we do. We call it an F cup, um, but it oh, okay. to a triple D. Yes, okay. so all the okay. way up okay. to um, an H cup. Okay, okay, good. Oh, th that makes so much more sense, doesn't it? <laughs> okay, um, Holly says that she's not fond of the underwire bra. Are all, do all of yours have underwires? And she no. says that she's a plus size gal. So do you, do you cover curvy ladies, she wants to know. Got it, yeah. So we do have a wireless bra. Um, it comes in about 30 of our sizes and it goes up to a F or triple D cup. Mm -hmm. We also have, um, we just launched a lounge, what we're calling our lounge bra, which is made from bamboo. Um, so it's sustainable and it's breathable. There's no wire, there's removable memory foam cups. And um, it literally, like most of our bras, feels like you have nothing on which is kind of amazing. I live in that bra on the weekends. And even <laughs> while I was kind of finishing nursing, I just finished about a month ago. Um, I just, that was my go-to bra. <laughs> really? Okay. Yeah. So let's talk about pregnancy and pregnancy bra needs and then nursing bra needs because, okay, so I've had seven babies and a few miscarriages. So, you know, <laughs> I've gone through the whole, you, you go through the change you know, throughout your pregnancy and then, and then even more change when you're nursing. I bet I own like 25 nursing bras. Mm -hmm. I can't stand any of them. Yeah. So tell me about your nursing bras and, and what you recommend for pregnancy because you're, you just don't stay the same size. Yeah. You know? I really don't. Um, so yeah. I, it was funny, actually. I started designing the bra before I got pregnant and then I ended up getting pregnant and it kind of changed the course of how I was thinking about designing it because, of course, to live it, you know, is to know it. Right. And I think I had to be there to really understand. Um, I think the thing that I didn't love about the other nursing bras that were on the market was the uh, foam was very stiff. Right. And the fabric was um, good from a performance standpoint, meaning it was supportive, but it was um, kind of stiff and dry. It just wasn't very soft. And so I tried a bunch of different brands that are really well known um, and it just it wasn't doing it for me either. Um, even just small details like I wasn't able to unclasp the hook with one hand and we all know when you're going to nurse, you're you're juggling a million things, yeah. including the baby. <laughs> you just yeah. need to be right. able to do it. So um, I designed our nursing bra with a really soft cotton feel model fabric. So it feels like butter, you know, it doesn't have that kind of scratchy synthetic feel that some other bras have. But I think the biggest um, game changer for me was using, utilizing our 
really best-selling memory foam that we use across the rest of the line because I was just so sensitive. My breasts were so sensitive. I The cups needed to be very soft and they also needed to kind of have that natural stretch because I was fluctuating so much. You know, it's like you, you said, even when you're pregnant, you know, one day you'll be really engorged and another day not so much, right? So there's kind of this up and down and I was at work and I just needed, you know, I was already kind of in a vulnerable position being pregnant. I had good days, I had bad days, and I just wanted to feel supported and look like that I had a nice silhouette. Um, and that's really what I thought about when I designed the bra. You know, I remember too when I, when I, when I, when I, like I said, I was pregnant, you know, I had seven babies. And so the, you can feel, like you said, you can feel so not self-conscious per se, mm -hmm. self-conscious maybe, you know, because yeah. you're all of a sudden you're not just bulging in the stomach, but your hips are bigger and your ankles are bigger and <laughs> you know, you're know you not, you're not feeling quite as, as great, you know, physically. I remember yeah. being pregnant and like getting dressed like five times in a row, like, I don't like this. It doesn't feel right. You know, mm -hmm. because your body is just extra sensitive. So sure. if you're, you know, your bra and undies are comfy, you know, that makes a big difference. And I'll say this too, maybe touching on things that are a little bit too personal, but one of, one of the issues is, you know, when you're dealing with nursing, you're dealing with your nursing pads, you are dealing with your nipples are bigger, you know, and a lot of the nursing bras are like paper thin, like literally this little flap. And so if you forget your, um, your pads, you know what I mean? You're nursing and whoops, you forgot to put one of them in. Then you're like, you're, you're left sort of showing through your clothing, right. you know, what, what you don't want to be showing. And right. I mean, it's really a big deal because we're talking about tons of moms who are nursing and you just want it to be as practical and comfortable of an experience as possible. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. It's like, we, we don't have time for that, right? <laughs> time for being uncomfortable no. you just want stuff that works and and that's yes, do. it is kind of the ethos of the third love when we think about designing products like of course we want people to be excited by our product and right. and really enjoy wearing it and have a good experience but really if we're doing our jobs they shouldn't be thinking about us or their bra right it should be so comfortable that they forget they're even wearing it and that's kind of the our internal mantra that we speak about as a team it's like, right. let's make sure she's not thinking about us. <laughs> <laughs> right. So what is it? Do you deal with kids who are, I, I say kids, like teens? Do you also sell to, you know, are like parents buying for their kids? Are we talking about all the way through life? Who Who are the people who enjoy your bras and underwear from young to very old? Do you cover the gamut or do you have more of a you know, of a narrow age range. Yeah, we really do cover the gamut. Um, that's the beauty of e-commerce, right? Is we we have customers in every city and every state from, um, you know, girls in their teens who are just developing to women far into their 80s and 90s, right? And so that's, that's what I love about working at Third Love is I have the ability to impact women's lives all over the country. Um, not just in San Francisco or New York or LA or wherever, you know. So um, my sisters, I always kind of keep them in mind when I'm designing. You know, they're both moms. Yeah. One lives in Ohio, one lives in Houston, um, and that's you know, I I'm I'm proud that they're like, oh, we saw your advertisement or we heard about this bra or my friend. I just went to my friend's house and she had a third love box there, um, and that just makes me so happy because as a designer, um, really what 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 drives me, I think, is knowing that, that there's a practical element to it that women just really enjoy wearing the bras and that I, in some small way, help make their lives a little bit easier or a little bit more comfortable. Right. Um, that's just super rewarding for me. Yeah, well, we're talking about our, our, our whole attitudes and the way that we feel. I'm going to pause for just a second because my producer husband is asking me, to ask you if you are able to go ahead and share this to your page so that your audience while we're live can also have the opportunity to win your um, your bra wardrobe. Yes, absolutely. We will um, we'll put that up right now. Okay, so you just go to Mommy Talk, find our 
live video and then hit share to your page. So you're funny because you just reminded me of um, my husband and I were watching a show a couple months ago and it was it was a drama, but it was about uh, it was oh, probably like the late 1800s, early 1900s. And the, the women, their husbands were like what one of the husbands gave the woman some you know, some underwear that he thought was amazing. And she like couldn't stand it. It was itchy and it was a gift. You know what I mean? But it was uncomfortable and it was tight. And you think of where women's wear has come from over the course of time and the extreme uncomfortableness of it. And so back to the fact is, is when you could ignore what you're wearing because you feel so great about life, it frees your brain up to do everything else that you want to do in life. And I love that. Oh, and I think that we may be a little bit uh, locked up. So I'm going to just refresh here. Wow. Okay. So I can't see myself or rail right now. I am um, hoping that we didn't lose everybody. And I'm hoping that you guys can see me right now. Um, we have rail Cohen from one, one second from third love. And she is giving away three, three bra wardrobes, which I am so, so, so excited about. Um, because there's nothing like being comfortable in what you're wearing. I, I love to wear comfortable clothes. So I, um, I can see myself talking, but I, I can't actually see myself. So there we go. I got her back. I'm sorry for the interruption. You're back. I'm so okay. sorry. Hi. <laughs> She's back. So I was just giving a little plug about third love and that there's nothing like being comfortable in, in what you're wearing. So do you have some things that you can show us up close so that we can get a really nice look at what you've got? Yes, absolutely. So okay. um, I brought in one of our nursing bras. Let me just pull yes. this in. Um, now, if, if I were wanting to give someone a gift, hmm. of course, I can't pick for them. Do you have gift cards or... How would we I should that? have beautiful gift cards. Um, they come in this adorable little package and they're gold foil. So they feel really special. Um, and we have 60 sizes in underwear. We also have loungewear, really beautiful organic cotton and bamboo loungewear. So there's a little, little something for everybody. Um, clearly, you know, I think the, the biggest thing about Third Love is that we want to be there for all the important moments of a woman's life. And so nursing is, of course, one of those moments, but it's just one of thousands of different moments, right? So we just recently launched our bridal collection for that special moment. Oh. And, um, and then, of course, just a variety of really beautiful styles that you can see behind me in from your kind of classic everyday styles to uh, lace, um, to racerback styles with front openings, wireless, strapless, of course, is a, is a really big seller for us. And so we just really, the design team really kind of puts our heads together to think about what are the moments, right? What are what are those moments that Third Love needs oh, yeah. to be? Let's design really great things for those moments. Right. So um, I have our nursing bra here. This is our wireless version. We do have a wired version, which is quite um, differentiated on the market. There aren't a lot of wired uh, bras for nursing. And I, in particular, really appreciated that when I went back to work after having my daughter, because I still, I was at work, you know, and I, I still needed that kind of support and structure. I wasn't at home anymore during the day. And so um, the wired version was great, but both bras have their super soft modal um, cotton feel fabric on the cups. And then they have this double layer back. So you'll notice how there's no elastic against your skin. Um, that was a huge one for me because I always felt like elastic was a little bit itchy. Right. And then we created this bra to have a front opening rather than a back opening. And I don't know about you guys out there, but 
Um, I, I actually had gotten so much bigger than I typically was for my cup size. And it was challenging to kind of reach back. And I ended up having to have a C-section for the birth of my daughter. And so I was just, I was very sore. Um, and so the front opening really helped for me because I just, if I just felt like opening the bra completely and nursing, I could, or I could use the quick release strap and just quickly pull that down as well. And then um, an additional detail that I really wanted to make sure we got into this bra was our signature pleated strap. So not only is it just a really beautiful strap, but it also serves as an extra support function because it's double layer. And so as it stretches, you're given this, um, this kind of level of support that you typically don't get from a regular strap. And that was really important to me, especially as um, if I was, if, you know, woke up in the middle of the night and hadn't nursed in a few hours and I was fully engorged, you know, I was able to still kind of have the support that I needed. I um, mean, I wasn't, you know, moving around too much. <laughs> you know, I have to be honest. I don't know that I've ever owned or seen a nursing bra that looks like a normal bra. That is a very pretty bra. Like when you're near, you go from like wearing whatever you normally wear to like these things that you normally wouldn't wear when you're nursing. At least, I mean, I don't know. My youngest is four and my oldest is 24. So, I mean, I've been at it for a long time. And even with my youngest one, I just don't remember. I don't remember ever liking my nursing bras at all. And I don't remember any of them being pretty. They were just these things, you know, these necessary evils that you you had to wear. But that's a very pretty soft bra. Yeah, thank you so much. I um, Before I became pregnant and before we even designed the nursing bra, I was doing a fitting with our founder, Heidi, and she had just had her first baby. And this was about four years ago. And I was in the bathroom with her and she I saw her nursing bra sitting on the top of the toilet. And I, I literally picked it up and I said, what is this? It what had it um it had a big bow on the front and all these flower this flower print, you know, it was so unlike her style, you know, and I said, I said that well, do you think that you've lost all taste when you become pregnant or have a baby? I'm so confused. Like it was it was really, really funny. It was kind of that aha moment actually. I'm like, okay, we can do something better. <laughs> Seriously. It is a matter of all of a sudden you switch from choosing what you want to a matter of practicality because there yeah. are a lot of options, but none of them that I was aware of were really good options. And mm -hmm. so you're like, okay, which bra do I want to wear today? You know, and you, there, they were not comfortable. They were not, they were, I was going to say not practical. Some of them were practical, mm -hmm. you know, some were ridiculous, like you have to pull them over your head. But after you have a baby, you don't want to be moving like that. No. You know? No. Yeah, that does not work. <laughs> no, it's just, it's crazy. And I think, you know, too, talking about different cultures, there's this whole movement where in other cultures, for centuries, they have cared for their mothers. And in America, they're like, okay, six weeks, back to work. Now we get like 12, maybe, which is huge. When I had my first daughter, it was six weeks. I right. mean, the, the idea, like I literally dropped her off at a babysitter after six weeks and, you know, not sleeping at night and back to work. And our culture does not take care of their mothers like other cultures take care of the mothers. And I think for that reason, moms are more stressed out. They get sick more often. They hemorrhage more often. They lose their breast milk more often, more, you know, more quickly. Um, and they have more issues. So this is a really nice way to. Yeah, it's so, it's so true. You know, I think it's like we um, I know you and I were talking before we went live and you were asking me about third love and what does it mean? And I think it's, um, you know, it, third love comes from necessity, right? It comes from women creating a third option for themselves. And so when Heidi was, um, you know, years ago getting ready to go out and she had to choose between going to the store for two hours and trying to find a strapless bra for this event or wearing her, her old skanky strapless bra that we all have in our drawer, she said, no, there's going to be a third option. Like, why is this so difficult? And that's how she got a third love. 
And so it's the same thing with motherhood, right? You know, society gives us a choice between having a family and career. And we create a third option and it's not a perfect option, right? And it's not a perfect system, you know, but we all just do the best that we can. And you just kind of embrace the craziness and you say, you know what, I can do both. And maybe it's not a hundred percent and, you know, things are, have to be sacrificed, but I feel that I really love the work that I do and I love that I'm helping women and I love my family and I shouldn't have to choose between one or the other. Or if I do choose one, I shouldn't feel any way about it. Right. Right. I think it's our choice at the end of the day and we need to kind of take that choice back to it. Right. Right. And you can make it work in a very productive and healthy way for your family. I've done both. And when I had my first four kids, I was a complete stay at home mom. I had four kids in less than five years and then I had a break and then I had three more. And in in between, I I started working from home full time. And so, you know, through my last three kids, you know, I work from home most of the time, but sometimes I go out like for a month straight and produce a film and, um, you know, that's a really big deal. And I don't see my kids a lot, but then we come out with a really great project. And so I think initially I thought, well, I have to stay home. I want to stay home. I want to be with my kids, but it was very hard. And I think anyone who's heard me talk about it has heard me say this. It's very hard to be a stay at home mom when you're exclusively a stay at home mom, because you take a piece of yourself that you used to love the productive, the creative side. Not that you're not productive and creative with your children. You clearly are, but it becomes very repetitious. And so the spontaneity and the, oh, I could go make this, or I could go do this. I could do this project or I could help so-and-so kind of like that, that gets bottled up and set aside. And so when you are in, you know, the, the lack of sleep, the I'm, I'm cooking, I'm cleaning, I'm diapering, cooking, cleaning, diapering, nursing, you know, and it's, it's right. this repetition. And sometimes you find joy in bringing something else that you really enjoy back into your life. Mm-hmm. And for a lot of people that is work. And I think initially I actually felt guilty about that. Like I would explain, I felt bad. Like when I would say to my stay at home mom friends, I, I would like whisper, like, I actually enjoy working, you know, as if it like were a bad thing for a mom who loves her children to also love what she does when she's not with her children. Right. So, right. Yeah. Yeah. It's, that's why women are so amazing. Right. We do kind of, we figure it out and we juggle it and we multitask. And like I said, it's never a perfect system. And I, I this last year for me with my first child has been really, really eye opening. And I think that the biggest thing um, that I've learned, and maybe there's other, some of your viewers have advice for me too, but I think the biggest thing that I've learned so far is that um, just to kind of forgive yourself, right? And to not guilt yourself, right? And not let anybody else kind of guilt you. Just do do what works for you. Um, do what feels right, and you you can't really go wrong. It's called mom guilt. Yeah. <laughs> Most moms suffer from it. If you stay home, you suffer from it because you're not bringing in an income, or you still feel like you're not doing a good enough job when you're home, mm-hmm. and you don't have that extra, you know, income and you still aren't feeling like you're pulling it together. And then moms who are working, you know, feel the mom guilt. And then moms who are not taking care of their aging parents to the best of their ability or, you know what I mean? Like it's it's just called human guilt and it doesn't do us any good unless it's pointing out something that really does need to be dealt with in life. Right. But I think a lot of us just carry that. And I think we have so much more grace for other people frequently than we do for ourselves. Now I'm just sitting here like curious. I'm talking about all this, but I'm really thinking, can we see some underwear? Can we see some underwear? <laughs> you, have, you have pretty and comfortable yeah. underwear. And that's an issue in life. It is. Yes. People spend their lives looking for comfortable underwear that doesn't ride up or ride down or whatever. What do you have there? What do you have? Yeah, it's so true. Let me just look behind me. I have um one of one of my favorite styles here, and I'll go ahead and take it off the hanger. Um, I think that in lingerie specifically, what always kind of bothers me about um, the fit typically is there'll be these kind of heavy binding elastics that are on the leg and the waist, and then it kind of gives you this muffin top effect. Or you, you know, we all know we we all know what happens, but it's not 
it's not the best feeling and it's not the good look, mm -hmm. as good of a look as you would probably want. So we really um, try to focus on um, maximizing different technological advances in lingerie. And one in particular is this type of seamless fabric that it, you can just cut the edge. There's no elastic and there's no stitching. And mm -hmm. it just literally floats on top of your body so that you don't get that dig in. Does and so really even though it's just a very kind of basic, um, everyday type of underwear, this is the bikini. It has a really beautiful striped waistband. Here, I'll hold up so you can see it. Um, it's very flat and it smooth, so and it just comes in a bunch of fun colors. Really? It looks so extremely lightweight. Yes. It's really lightweight. So yeah, well, that, that's another thing, right, is the breathability. You know, I think there's some some underwear out there that aren't quite as breathable. So if you're working out or going for a walk or it's just been a long day or whatever, it can get just a little bit, like, for lack of a better word, swampy at the end of the day. And it's not good for you. It's a fact of life. I mean, it can cause yeast exactly. infections and things like that. So how do you keep it from, like, riding up? I don't mean to be getting too graphic here, everybody, but this is... This is a ladies show for any men who are watching. This is for the women in your life and <laughs> for women sitting here around talking about women's issues and women's issues include bras and underwear because we all wear them every day. And most of us dislike what we are wearing. So I, I love what you're doing. How do you keep your underwear from riding up? <laughs> Yeah, so the um, it's all about the cut of the underwear. I mean, obviously, we make thongs, we make cheekies, we have bikinis. So we have different levels of coverage. So depending on the type of style that you prefer, that you like to wear, right. um, the, the fabric is actually is a performance type fabric that does allow itself to just sit on the body and not ride up, which is great. And the edges don't roll. I actually find that there is kind of elastic or binding on the uh, leg hole or the waist, you get more of a riding up effect because it's pulled so tight. It kind of right. starts to give you that wedgy look. So, okay, so do you not get, you know the look, there must be a name for it. When you can see the panty lines like halfway up the bottom, mm -hmm. is there a name for that? Um, and I mean, besides the wedgy, <laughs> I don't, I just, it's just a really bad panty line, but I do, um, I, I actually do Pilates and I wear this seamless underwear all the time because it, um, I can wear my like Lululemon or really tight workout pants and you don't see the line, even though it's not a thong, right? Even right, though there's right, right. the back. Yeah. Show us again. Show us again. I just yeah. put you full screen. So you're Sorry. telling me that they, they fit comfortably and you do Pilates and they don't ride up. Yep, exactly. And you don't see the line through, right. which is the important thing, right? Because you wear the really tight workout pants and then you, well, you know, we all see in class and everything. And it's okay. In workout class, you shouldn't even be worried about that, honestly. But the write-up factor is really important um, because it's just uncomfortable if you're working out and the underwear is slowly creeping. <laughs> it's yeah. right. right. I mean, it's just it, that we're completely talking about a practical matter here. Do you have any other underwear that you want to show us? Yeah, I'm, sure. I'm like shopping yeah. online while you're while you're showing us. But I just I feel like kind of like when I went to a store, I go to a store in a mall and they're like, oh, look at this. Look at this. So I like yeah. I like. Seeing yeah. So there's you know. tons of styles online. So if you go to thirdlove.com. Um, you can look at all the different styles that we carry. And just like our bras, we we have those basic everyday essentials. And then we have the, the little more fun styles that you maybe want to wear on certain occasions or if you want a matching set. Um, and this is one of those styles. So this is our Lace Cheeky. Oh, look at that. And this style is really, um, this is one of our best sellers. It has this really beautiful little third love charm at the front. Um, but I think what I love about what what I love about all of our underwear is they have a 100% cotton gusset. So even though you might have a lacy style or you might have a seamless fabrication, it still has the the breathability and um, like the health factor um, to take into consideration with always having cotton against your your sensitive parts. Um, but what I love about this style is again, this is the back. We don't use elastic. We make sure that we engineer our fabrications with a lot of spandex. 
So the fabrication itself acts as um, the stretch in the fabric. We don't rely on elastics to make the fit work. So um, this this style as well just kind of floats on your bum. That's you know, we kind of cool. internally, we call it the butt equalizer because <laughs> it kind of makes every butt look amazing, which mm. who can't appreciate that? <laughs> Dimmering, like it's, it's very, it's gorgeous fabric. Very pretty. Thank you, yeah. So I think that's all that I have in here as far as underwear, but. Um, well, I love it. We're actually going to have to wrap it up in a minute. So I, I want to say again, I said we're, I shouldn't have. And the, the, the nice little scrolling thing that we have on the screen, it says we're third love, everybody. Third love is giving away three bra wardrobes, which means a bra and underwear to three different people. So please like this video and comment, give us a comment and like this video so that you can enter to win. I'm like, drooling over how pretty and now I, I wanted to ask you how often do women wear pretty stuff under their clothing I mean I'm just like a practical person mm -hmm. you know like I rarely will put anything pretty on under I do like to match mm -hmm. even if it's even if it's just everyday stuff I still like for my my colors to match you know what I mean but yeah. but it's you know, I don't know. I mean, how often do people just wear lace? Pretty stuff. Yeah, it's um, we have kind of a recommendation for what people should have in their bra drawer. And earlier in the conversation, you mentioned that you have must have 25, you know, nursing bras or something. Yeah, not that I, I like them. We actually have a really great blog post on this that we can go on top of this mm -hmm. link later and, and post the blog post. But yeah. you should have, you know, three everyday styles that you kind of wear on rotation, you know, because we all know that's our go-to. It's in a neutral shade um, that kind of matches your skin tone. And we have several um, shades that we call our nakeds. So depending on your skin color, you can actually find the correct nude for you, which is really, really cool. Did you hear that? She just said the correct nude for you. That's because right. We because all know that the you. nude is like this ugly tan color that like, I mean, you go to a store and you're like, you want, you know, you don't want it to show under your clothing. So you get like the nude color. It's just flat out ugly. Sorry. I mean, not yours, but I'm just saying. <laughs> I know. Well, that's that goes back to the idea of third love, right? It's like you're given a choice between nude and white. And we said, uh, no, <laughs> no, there's more than that, right? We're not all one shade of nude. Yeah. Um, and our, our backup option shouldn't be, you know, the, the white bra, right? Which you can see through every single shirt. So we um, we developed our naked shades, and we have five naked shades, um, and we're we have new um, shades in development as well. So just making sure that all women have their perfect nude. Um, but to answer your question about lace, yeah. besides your three kind of basic bras, we have um, our best-selling lace falconette, and I can grab that off the wall. It's here, yes. And that's this bra, and this kind of goes back to the conversation we had at the beginning about taking a really pretty Parisian type style, nice. but making it wearable for um, real women, right? Of real sizes. Right. right. So right, right. it's a lace bra, but it has the memory foam cup. Wow. So you have that kind of smoothing effect. And the way that we've engineered the lace, although it's very beautiful and detailed, I mean, it has this lovely scallop, the lace itself is actually completely smooth. And so while I wouldn't wear it under a white silk top, obviously, you can wear it under t-shirts and other clothing that you would never think you could wear a lace bra under. So you actually don't have to save it for a special occasion, right? You can kind of cycle it in on a Friday. Right. When you're feeling sassy. <laughs> I own lace bras because I bought them because I'm like, oh, look at that. That's so pretty. Mm -hmm. And it, it fits me. Never wear them. Never, ever, ever. Because yeah. they're so, I can't wear them under a sweater. I mean, they're so. So true. What's the word? The um, the texture. The texture. Yeah, it's just, is, yeah, it's chunky. It's just <laughs> much. It's um, like, it ruins your figure. So yeah. yours is beautiful yet smooth. Exactly. And that's third love, right? It's It can't just be beautiful and it can't just be functional. It has to be both. And we don't have to choose. 
And we can have both, right? We don't have to choose between one or the other. So beautiful and functional. I, yes. I don't know why I'm like loving this so much. <laughs> I think that our viewers might be loving it as much as me because we've got 25 comments and more pouring in and That's lots great. of likes and loves, lots and lots of likes and loves. So thanks everybody. And keep the, if you have any mommy advice for me as a first time mom, <laughs> my way. I'm I open do. to all suggestions. <laughs> I, I have advice. Look, she's like, do you have advice? Ask a mom of seven whose oldest is 24. <laughs> exactly. I, you, boy, you are asking for it. When you ask for advice, moms like me are like, I'm going to tell you the way it is. Here's my advice. How old is your youngest? Or your, your she's, young. Young. she's 10 and a half months. Oh, my goodness. I am going to tell you something. When, after you blink, you're going to blink? And she's going to be getting married. <laughs> don't make me cry. <laughs> that's, I, I don't know that that's advice. That's just, I'm yeah. making myself cry. I actually, I have yeah. two kids getting married this year. Oh, and wow. maybe three. I've got a third. Daughter. I shouldn't be saying that in case his, his girlfriend is watching. Look, I'm crying. I have a son <laughs> getting married in April and a daughter getting married in June. Wow. And another one who's about to get I don't know why I'm whispering, I guess in case they're here and I don't know it. But um, they, that baby, that, oh, how you hold them and you love them and you just are euphoric. You're going to just make mm -hmm. them cry. And you're just euphoric over that. They just, they grow up and they're like, mom, give me the car keys. I have a boyfriend. You know, and you're like, what? How did this happen? Give me a hug. I don't want to hug you anymore. No, please hug me. Yeah, they just like, uh, wow, that, yeah. Even when you're tired, you know what I mean? Even when they're making a mess, I'm just making myself cry. Even when they're banging on things and, mm -hmm. you know, they're teething and you have to get up at night and feed them, you know, or, or they're, you know, it, when your life is feeling less than rested and perfect, just look at their perfect little bodies and say, I'm so glad that you're healthy. I'm so glad that you're mine because they're mm -hmm. going to be yours forever. You know, what a beautiful thing. Yeah, it really is. I, I'm just trying to appreciate every single moment and yeah. I appreciate your insight and advice. Um, it's definitely touching and I'm tearing up. I Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm like like really trying hard not to cry, but I really, I really appreciate the, the insight and advice because it is um, unlike anything I've ever experienced. So. Right. Yeah. And I have to say, have grace for yourself because when you're exhausted and you want to snap at your husband or you're, you know what I mean? Just have grace, take mm -hmm. the nap, drink the tea, read the book. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? If you need to just take yourself away, take yourself away, you know, give yourself, give yourself a treat and give yourself some grace because it's not easy on your physical body. It's not easy on your emotions to, can you tell it's not easy on your emotions to be a mom? It, it's <laughs> not, not at all. <laughs> not. So on one hand, I say enjoy as much of every moment as you can. On the other, I say if you're freaked out and exhausted and you're, you know, you just need a break, just take the break. Yeah. And they won't remember 30 years later that you went <laughs> to the nap. You know what I mean? They'll remember rested mommy who was able to lay on the floor and play with them you know, because you gave yourself the care. I know that there's a lot on self-care these days, but I think self-care for moms is an under-discussed topic because you see that moms, same thing with your products, with Third Love, you see moms who went from being in the workplace, going to the gym or exercising or running, eating healthy to wearing big baggy t-shirts and and yoga, but come on, everybody knows the the mom and and who it's just the t the stereotype of the mom with the mom bun and the yoga pants and you know and the big baggy t shirt and and the bulging self because she's all of a sudden eating Oreos and you know she went from being fit in the workplace to just not taking care of herself and I like to encourage moms you know to take care of yourself it's not that easy but when you can you're important. You know, take the time to do it. I think, I don't know if we have, if we have um, 
locked up again, but I am going to reload. So goodness. Okay, so I'm back and apparently I um locked up and I'm just sitting here like bawling my eyes out and going on and on. Um, I, I'm not sure if our third love wonderful host is going to pop back in. But I did want to say that I really appreciate everything that she has shared with us so far. Um, and she asked me for mommy advice. And as I was giving it, I like totally lost her and I'm just bawling my eyes out. So if you just joined us or if you've been with us for a while, if you will like the video and comment below anything that you want to say. Oh, <laughs> Stevie said she is so still, LOL. I'm thinking, uh, yes, yeah, she is because I lost her. Um, anyway, please like the video and comment below because you are entered to win a bra and panty set. Like who doesn't want that? Did you guys see how gorgeous, how absolutely gorgeous those sets were? And some were, oh, she's coming. Rael is coming back. Um, some practical, very practical practical and yet some extremely beautiful and gorgeous um, sets. So I say we're giving away. She's back. I don't know. We have had the craziest day. This is called motherhood, Rael. This, this craziness is motherhood. Like I'm giving you advice and somebody comments, she's so still. And I'm like, oh yeah, she is still. She's totally locked up. This doesn't even usually happen. But I was just I was just saying, do you want to show us up close just one more time? Because I'm sitting here raving. Um, yes. Everyone who's watching, like like the video, comment below to enter to win. I'm so jealous that I'm the host. I don't get to enter to win. But guys, <laughs> do it because she's got practical stuff, gorgeous stuff. I'm going to put you full screen because I, I, I want to see. Great. Whoop, Great. There you go. Full screen. Go ahead. Okay. So this is um, our... Oh my goodness. I don't know why we keep locking up, but she's locked up again. Uh oh. Okay. I am not sure if you guys, we are just, I lost her again. I lost her again. If she comes back one more time, we're going to take one more look. So I am going to just sit and chat with you. Here she comes. Here she comes. Rael, if you can hear me, I, I'm going to, there you are. I'm going to pop you back on. I'm going to put you full screen so that you can show everybody what they just may win. So I'm so excited. Go ahead. Okay, fantastic. This is our best-selling 24-7 t-shirt bra. Uh, millions of women wear this bra. It's the, kind of the perfect everyday go-to. It comes, um, our brand comes in 60 sizes and we have half cup sizes too. So if you have any kind of cup gaping or cup overflow, those are a great solution. Um, it's made with memory foam cups. And what I love about memory foam is it's ultra, ultra thin, but it still provides the support that you need. It really does kind of um, form to your body like a sunken skin. And so you don't have that bulky um, kind of stiff look that a lot of other cups will give you. It's just your figure, just a, more supported and more smoothed, which I love. Uh, the back is double layer microfiber, so there's elastic on the inside, um, sandwiched between the fabric, but it's not against your skin. So just really, really comfortable. And then we have our signature pleated strap. And of course, like everything with Third Love, it's not just beautiful, it serves a purpose, and it offers more support and stretch for the elastic. Um, than, than a traditional bra strap. And then probably my favorite um, comfy detail is our hook and eye. So this is a typical hook and eye, except for we line ours with foam. And so you can see it is very squishy. Wow. It's not scratchy at all. And our labels printed right on. So you don't, you never get that kind of itchy tag that you get in most bras. Oh, seriously, yes. Yes. I love that. I love yeah, that. So we have everything from basic everyday bras, like I said before, and all of our um, naked and nude shades. And then we also have, you know, 
fun styles like our lace balconette. This is another number one selling style for us. But again, it's made with the memory foam and the super smoothing lace. So you can still wear it, um, you know, even during the work week if you want to, which I think is great. And so we have plunge, we have full coverage, we have lots of different styles. Our strapless is our one of our number one selling styles as well. Um, it is guaranteed to not slip. So if you've ever been that woman at a wedding or event where you're on the dance floor doing this, um, that will eliminate all need to do that. <laughs> do That's that. such a common look too, the move that you just did. I, I picture it at a wedding, because that's what girls are doing at a wedding. They're all like hiking up their dresses and their yeah. bras. Oh yeah, my and you end up seeing the photos later and there's a lot of photos of you going like this and not really doing your sweet dance moves. So just something to think about. <laughs> That is so funny. Now, can you show us the underwear again? Yes, I absolutely. Okay. So we have um, several different styles. You can go to thirdlove.com to see all of them. But this is one of our seamless styles, and this is a bikini silhouette. So there is no elastic used here. Um, there's no stitching. There's nothing that will dig in. The body is kind of this tissue weight microfiber that floats on your skin. Um, it has this beautiful flat striped waistband that makes sure that it stays up but also doesn't dig into your waistline. And then we have uh, lace styles. So you had mentioned earlier that you really love to match your bra and underwear. It's actually um, an interesting survey that we need to do because there's women out there who never match and then there's women out there that want to match. But we um, want to make sure that we're kind of catering to all women, right? So there's lots of different options, and you can mix and match as you like. Right. Um, we have this lace cheeky style in our beautiful twilight color, and it has this really lovely scalloped edge. And, of course, again, not using that elastic that kind of dig in and binds. Um, so it can kind of float on top of your body, feel really comfortable, but also just really look gorgeous. Right. Now, many women don't wear such gorgeous underwear. Do most women who do wear it, do they wear it for themselves because they want to just feel beautiful or do they wear it for their significant other? I, I know that sounds like a really intimate question, but there's a lot of women that just buy plain old cotton underwear and they're like, this is what I wear, this is what I like because this is comfortable. But you're saying there are some options that you also may enjoy if you want to feel extra pretty one day, you know, and you just want to, you know, or you're, you're getting all dressed up for a big event or something like that. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, I recommend having a lot of different um, underwear styles and throwing them out often, right? If you're going into your underwear drawer and you're seeing underwear in there that's over a year old, probably just time to throw it out. Um, so I like to have a range of things like lace and seamless microfiber thongs, cheekies, bikinis. Um, I'm a, this is completely personal, but I'm a two pair underwear a day girl. So I wear a thong during the day. And when I get home, I change into my comfortable cheeky or bikini. That's just what I do. So everybody kind of has their own way, but I think just like the ethos of third love, um, do what makes you feel good, right? And and if you want to wear um, fancy or what we would call fancy underwear for yourself or for your partner, it um, is really your choice and it's up to you. And some days if you just want to be that cotton, high-waisted underwear girl, just go for it. It's you do so, you, right? <laughs> what we're doing is treating underwear more like a part of our wardrobe and our bra instead of this thing that is not seen. I mean, I know. I know in the past, I'm getting personal too, that I have put on a bra that I'm like, well, I certainly hope I don't have to change in front of anybody because this is not a bra that I'd want. You know what I mean? It's like mm -hmm. you, you wouldn't want to be in a dressing room with other ladies where you, where you, you know, were showing your old ratty bra. You know what I mean? But many of us keep them. I mean, our drawers are just full of bras and underwear that we maybe used to wear and don't wear anymore or never did wear because it's not comfortable. Or like I said, some of mine are like lacy and I go, Oh, these are so pretty, but I never ever wear them because I don't want my top to be all bumpy, you know? So I love the concept of, I sound like I'm getting enlightened, right? I think that I am. I love the concept 
of having pretty undergarments because and and in good shape and mm -hmm. that i love because you want everything that you put on we all take care to put on clothing that we feel good in that we feel like we look like we look nice that it makes us feel better about ourselves it's like the same thing my husband and i'll be going out to breakfast and i'm like no let me put on my makeup first and he's like i love you without makeup i'm like no i'm doing this for myself you know i i want to get myself looking decent i could go live without my hair done and makeup but whenever i do a test run on camera because i'm just i'm like oh my goodness i don't want to you know i wouldn't that it's just really for myself it's not yeah. really for my husband necessarily it's not for the other people in my life, mm -hmm. it's because from the time that we were younger and we started experimenting with makeup and how we do our hair and what kind of styles we wear, that all we we make those choices because that's kind of like who we are. But we have a tendency to ignore and, and wear old ratty stuff, mm -hmm. what's underneath and what's not seen. So you're making that choice for us that it's, now we can wear pretty and practical at the same time. Yeah, yeah, it's so funny. I talk to women all the time and I work with obviously a ton of women in our office and you know, you spend a fair amount of money on clothes, right? You know, oh, you yeah, like, okay, yeah. I'm in my 20s or 30s or 40s and I'm starting to have, you know, I need to be more professional or this or that or whatever's nice. happening and you spend all this money on clothes and then you put on a terrible fitting bra underneath and it kind of ruins the look. Of this expense, like you could almost just shop at H and M, right? And that it wouldn't really matter. Like you can just get inexpensive clothes, and if you know how to like find the right fit and you have a great fitting bra, they're going to look amazing. Right. And it really is kind of that first layer that if you just put, you know, are able to find your best fit, which is why Fit Finder at Third Love is so amazing because you don't have to go into the store and you don't have to get measured and you don't have to have that woman who's kind of tisk tisk. you're wearing the wrong size. Oh my it's goodness, kind of like no that's what happens. Right? You go into, I haven't done this in a long time, but I, I, I did do this once and twice. I didn't do <laughs> it after that. You see, you go in and they're like, Oh my goodness, is that what you're wearing? And that, that doesn't fit you. Oh, when did you buy this? Like, I kid you not, you go into a store and that's, you You get that from the, the you know, the, the lady who's fitting you and then you're standing there naked and she's like, sorry, getting graphic for any men watching, but any woman who's ever been fitted for a bra, you know, you're standing there and she's measuring you. It's a very um, uncomfortable and intimate thing. So I love what Third Love is doing because they're letting you do this at home. I think you might be locked up again. You're looking very still there. She's looking very still there. Hopefully she'll come back. So I was going to ask her, what do you do if it doesn't fit? We actually are going to wrap this up in a couple of minutes. So if you have not entered, if you have not entered to win, like the video and comment because Third Love is giving away three bra wardrobes. Hey, Rael, I wanted to ask you, so what happens if I order something and it doesn't fit right, and I, I don't, it, it, it just isn't very comfortable, or it's kind of the wrong size. What happens? Absolutely. So, um, Fit Finder really helps us mm -hmm. ensure that a woman gets the right fit and style the first mm -hmm. time. But of course, sometimes things happen, and there's you want a different style, or you'd like to try a different size, and that's perfectly okay. Returns and exchanges are 100% free, no hassle, no questions asked. You simply yeah. must um, get a return label from our our amazing customer experience team and you send it on back and we give you a refund or exchange for a different size. Wow. I never hear that, especially from bra and underwear companies, but usually it's like, well, we have a 15% restocking fee and you can't return mm -hmm. panties. Do you have a no panties return policy? We don't. Um, we do allow people to return underwear. Um, I think that it is it needs to be unworn um right. but if you get it and you open up the package and you realize oh this isn't the style for me yeah. you can go ahead and send it back and i did want to mention um while we hope every woman gets the right fit the first time when women do exchange or return their bra if it has been worn we um donate our gently used bras to different women's charities and organizations so we have actually donated over $2 million worth of bras 
in the last few years. Um, we've supported all of the uh, natural disaster relief, uh, wow. that natural disasters that have happened over the course of the last year, like the California fires and all of the hurricanes, as well as St. Anthony's Dress for Success, numerous women's um, organizations. So we really are dedicated to helping all women find their great fit, regardless of their situation. That is, that so, is so nice. nice. You, know you know what? If you lose you everything lose in a fire, fire or an earthquake or something, and then somebody gives you some old hand-me-down bra, what a difference to to get yeah. like, I mean, you, that would just be so beautiful. Okay, so I'm crying again. I don't know why, but I just think that that's really, really sweet and kind that, you know, that any, so you're saying that bras that are returned, you donate. Yes, if they've been worn, um, they've been worn. we launder them, the gently used bras, we launder them and we donate them, um, as well as we donate new styles too, just kind right. of. That is so neat. Well, yeah. Mayo, this has been a true pleasure. I feel like I've had a, a firsthand education and experience that was really, really sweet. I cannot wait to go to your website and actually just browse and peruse. I looked on your Facebook page. I really like, really, really looked on your Facebook page because you, you just have such gorgeous pictures of, you know, your different products. And I, I really, I'm going to just say again, that I love the idea of enjoying putting on your undergarments instead of feeling like you're settling. And I think that many, many, many women feel like we are settling. We're putting on old bra, old underwear. They're not comfortable. I have to tell you that the bra, personally speaking, that I put on today, I wear because it gives me a better outer, but it's miserably uncomfortable. And I mean, I'm when I'm done working, I just go put on my comfortable bra. Mm -hmm. who, you know, who wants to have to do that? Not me. Yeah, and we've had women actually say that uh, they forget that they have the bra on. They get home from work. They That's use unusual. Their, you know, they would walk in the door and tear their bra off. And we have women who say, I actually went to put my pajamas on later and still had my bra on and forgot. And I don't, I can't make this this stuff up. You can see we have over uh, 12,000 customer reviews on our best-selling bra. Mm -hmm. So really you can go to thirdlove.com and read the reviews and decide for yourself. Good. Go to yeah. thirdlove.com. We're going to wrap this up. If you have not liked and commented, please do because Third Love is giving away three, three bra and underwear sets, which is so exciting. That's just so thrilling. So Yay for all of you who are entering right now because you are entered to win a bra and underwear set, which, and, and from what Rayel has shown us, they're, they're practical, they're gorgeous, they're comfortable, and um, I've gotten a really great education. Do you have any more, any more words of wisdom or anything that you want to share with us? Oh, geez. Okay. Um, I think just support, um, you know, support each other and, really just support all the women in your life. And if there are many, any men or partners out there listening, <laughs> support yeah, the strong women are, in your actually. life. Yeah, um, we really behind you. So I'm sure that there are men listening. Go ahead. Yeah, absolutely. And we really do. Um, we really, you know, probably can't have it all, but we can certainly um, juggle and do the best that we can. And I think that having, um, I personally am really, <clears throat> Happy to not have to choose between um, being a being a mother, having a family, or having an amazing job. Um, I really love working at Third Love, and I love the fact that I can support millions of women. So this has just been a real pleasure to to connect with your broader audience. Yes. Well, thank you for your designs. Thank you for creating them because they they're beautiful, they're practical, and I think it just makes us feel better about life when we feel like we are dressed comfortably and beautifully at the same time. So thank I you. agree. Thank you All so right. much. You are welcome. Again, go to thirdlove.com and take a look. And if you have not liked and commented to enter to win, please do. We're going to be choosing tomorrow. So we're going to give, give a little bit of time for anybody else to come through and watch this video in case they're they're at work or they're sleeping so that they can also have a chance to enter to win. Again, Rael, thank you from Third Love, and I look forward to connecting with you again.
Thank you. Me too. Bye-bye.